Good morning, fellow option traders. This is Jeff, and welcome to the Daily Scan for Thursday, April 15th, 2014. Okay, yesterday uh, retail sales came in a little bit, bit above the bogey number, and business inventories was a little bit below the bogey number, which ended up being kind of a wash which sort of yesterday was an up and a down and then a back up day. A rather strong finish. Today we have the Consumer Price Index and the Empire State Manufacturing Survey. Auntie Yellen is speaking at 8.45, but apparently I don't think she's going to say anything. Definitely no policy decisions or changes. And uh, then we have these two announcements, which have gold stars on them, which may not be as market impacting. So that's it for the scheduled news for today that may affect the markets across the ponds. Uh, over in Asia, pretty much bearish, with a couple of indexes showing up as... Um, slightly on the bullish side or actually kind of solidly on the bullish side which is kind of unusual you don't usually see that much of a difference between the bear numbers and the bull numbers and over in Europe we're right across the board and very solidly so so what's going on here in the US well I got caught on this yesterday morning where I said that well you know this I don't know what I was down. We were down about uh, maybe uh, 15, maybe about uh, 0.15 or so percent yesterday morning, and I said that it would be hard to recover from that. Well, it certainly did during the day. It turned out to be a relatively bullish day yesterday. And uh, for this morning, though, we're looking at gold uh, down almost $20, and oil is down $0.85. Cents. That's kind of good news uh, for most everybody, or at least better news. I wouldn't call it good news. It's, this number here at 103 is not good news. But as far as gold is concerned, uh, yesterday was a pretty good day, and I took advantage of it, and I did... Um, sell a call on my GLD ETF. Let me just show you that. Uh, let's go to a chart. Okay, here's uh, GLD. My cost basis is now down to 126.74. I paid around 134 for it. We'll take a look at that in a minute. And the uh, strike for the short call is way up here. So here's a little arrow indicating that. This is the day that I sold that 134 call. So, what does it look like right now? Okay, here we are uh, back on 819. We opened it. We paid 131.97 for our 100 shares. And then we sold a call at the 134 level for $2.31. That was about a month out. And here's the history of it. Um, Collected 99 cents, 75 cents, 34 cents, 43 cents, and 41 cents. I should start putting in here what the um, underlying was at. So I will add that to this chart, at least for this May. So pretty much, you know, we've been in this, well, about nine months. And if we if we get called out, it will be a 5.4% gain. But that's only if we get called out. So the stock still has to move up quite a bit in order for us to uh, realize this gain. So if we sold now at 126.74, uh, according to the chart, you can see here that we would make a little bit here, not much. So we're not ready to give up on the underlying at this point. At least uh, we're going to stay in this trade. And here's what we're looking at this morning. 
So it was a good choice yesterday to get in on this uh, covering this covered call, I guess you might say. All right, and then we got into IWM and LinkedIn late yesterday. We'll cover those as we go through the A-plus list. So let's get started right away. Uh, we'll go over here to the risk profile. Okay, we have nothing going on live in Apple. We had an alert yesterday. Uh, this is too many days getting a little long in the tooth for this. So we are going to cancel this alert. We have kind of a violation, a secondary violation down here, but this one's getting a little bit too old for a, um, that would be a bear call. So it's a little bit uh, too late for that one. So nothing going on with Apple earnings next week. Amazon, uh, we are in this particular trade here. Let me see here. There, I had to do a reset on the slices. Um, w when you go into on demand, <laughs> things get really hosed up and you have to go back and reset a bunch of stuff. You reset slices, reset parameters, and do all these resets. Okay. So Amazon, we're in here with a uh, bear call. We want to stay below this line. Looks like as though it's going to work out, or at least so far it is. So we're good with that. So nothing new there. Boeing, nothing live. Uh, we're in a downtrend. If anything, we would want to target up here, but we got earnings coming up. We'll still throw a target up there and see just to see what happens, just to draw our eyes to that. Baidu. Uh, we had an alert. Did not work out. So we need to abandon this particular trade here. And we have earnings next week. So we're just going to sit back and wait on that one. Celgene. Thinking about a trade here. We did uh, look at a 20 delta yesterday, and I wasn't real excited about it. See, here's what most of everything looks like as far as um, what happened. Opened, went up, pulled back, and then finished kind of strong. So most everything looks like that from an intraday perspective. But again, this one's a little bit long in the tooth. It's no longer a valid 20 delta. So we're going to move the target over to here and wait for the next opportunity. Earnings next week on this one as well. All right, I'm going to take that out of there. No more distractions. Chipotle. Okay, Chipotle um, looks like a zone. We may be starting a new downtrend, and we already are anticipating that we have earnings uh, Friday. No, it's Thursday after the market. So I won't be able to do any end of the week trades this week because I will be on the road Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Friday. I uh, hopefully will have time to trade for myself, but um, definitely won't have time to make a video. And I do miss not being able to do that. But we have some sweet looking earnings for next week, so that should be next week is really the bulk of the ones that we're interested in as far as earnings are concerned. So Chipotle here, um, with earnings this week, we're just going to watch and see what happens and take a buy on that one. And that's a BY, not a BUY. We had an alert set on Costco. It's no longer valid. It's getting a little bit long in the tooth, so we're going to get rid of that. And I don't see anything coming up um, in the near future here but we'll slide our target down over to here and hopefully 
our red line can get a little bit lower here before it hooks back up for the next opportunity. Chevron. Um, no way it's going to hit this calendar, so we could exit today. Uh, yeah, and save maybe like about 50 bucks, so I'm going to make a note of that. All right, moving right along, let's take a look at the Dow. ETF. All uh, right. Um, it had a pretty good day yesterday. I don't see anything tradable here right now. Except for maybe if you wanted to shoot for a calendar, maybe up here someplace for an expiration out in the future. You know, the earlier you get in on a calendar on a low IV, um, when it's low IV, you get a nice wide base. So you might want to consider that, but I'm not going to. I really don't. I just kind of make that, pull that one out of my, uh, whatchamacallit, I guess you might say. Let's take a look at Igor. Let's move on here before I get in trouble. Um... Igor is in a uptrend, so we're going to throw a target in down here and hope that we get it. FedEx, we still have that long put, nothing, really nothing to do on it. Um, yeah, there's nothing that we can do on it. This is uh, pretty much worth nothing here. So we're just going to let that one expire out of the money. Don't see anything. This is really too flat. It, I don't. I don't know where it's going. Can't tell. So I'll take a pass on that one. F5 Networks um, looks like as though it may have a trend change. It's trying to make up its mind. We've got earnings next week. We got a target set out there. We'll just take a pass on that. Gold, we already uh, took a look at that. We collected 41 cents on that. We are happy with that. Uh, from a chart perspective, uh, we have a target set down here on a new uptrend, or at least as far as the exponential is concerned. It has been in a uptrend for quite a while here. Um, yeah, and we're looking for a move down here into our target area. Google. What do we have to say about Google? Um, I have to go back here and take a look at the monitor tab to figure out what's going on there. And now we're back up to 350. So it's, <laughs> I don't know. Remember, we're, we're going to hang on to this for earnings and see what happens. So I should start taking pictures, probably, of this. But I don't get a picture. It's like, and I'm not even getting volatility data. It's just, man, he just holds this thing up so bad. But either way, I know how much I paid for it. I can't lose any more than what I paid for it. And I'm willing to lose that to see how this plays out. Okay, um, IWM. We got into that one yesterday. We are... Okay, here's what we did at 3.30 on this particular bar here, which was way down here at the time. I entered this trade uh, as almost like a 20 delta trade, you could say. So what happens here, we get on this on this green bar later on in the day, we get a hookup. It was down when I entered the trade, and within a half an hour or so, maybe 20 minutes, um, it moved up and gave a little green hook up. So that was, in retrospect, looking at it now, as time moves on, uh, 
Not real good, but we'll see how it works out. We got time this week. Uh, LinkedIn, same thing happened to me yesterday. I did a $5 spread on this one. Um, same kind of situation here. <clears throat> only the MACD is the only one that went green on me after I got into the trade. So we'll uh, spend a little time on that one, watching what happens. Uh, this is the last recording for this week, so I guess I'll be the only one <laughs> watching this if I can. That's the problem. Okay, so um, 3M or 2 flat. Nothing there. Netflix. Uh, looking for an opportunity here. I'm going to have to actually slide this one over to here. So hopefully in the near future we get an entry opportunity on Netflix. Priceline, uh, we're in that one. This is a, was a 20 delta from last week. And we're looking for an opportunity over here. And we'll wait for that one to develop a little bit. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ. Thinking about a 20 delta on that. Um, let's see here. Yeah, we're looking for an entry opportunity here. Maybe it will present itself to us. And spiders, S&P 500. Um, it's, it is in, it's flat right now. We're just seeing flatness. So we're just going to be patient. TLT. Uh, we had a successful trade on that. We still have this uh, piece left over here from the calendar, which is not worth anything. Yeah, it's worth a penny. So we're just going to let that one expire, and we're looking for the next opportunity here. Tesla. See if they still had a bad day. Yeah, they they opened high, and they they had a pretty bad day yesterday. We have a hook up here. I'm a little concerned about the exponential going red, though. We have a hook up here, but no confirmation. So. According to the rules, this is alertable, so I am going to put an alert in up here. I really don't think it's going to work out based on what I'm seeing right now. But following the rules, we have a nice two-day red, and now we have a hookup. Uh, we don't have confirmation, and we need price to move above here, and then it... Um, would be a good entry according to the rules. So an alert and a setup all on the same day. Doesn't happen very often. Uh, UN <coughs> excuse me, UNP. Um, a little bit of jaggy here broke our rules. And we have earnings this week, so take a pass on that one. And last but not least is Visa. All right. We're in a downtrend. We're looking for a move up into our target area. So we already have a sale over here at 201.87. So we'll just keep an eye on that one. And that's it for the A-plus list and for the recording for today and for this week. We'll talk to you again on Monday. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. And happy trading.